Testing an application is a tedious task, but to make it easy, you need to organize it in such a way that you can handle the errors and also handle all the alerts that pop up during the execution. Hello everybody, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and this session is all about alerts in Selenium. But before we begin, let's take a look at the agenda. First, we'll discuss about what are these alerts and why is it used. Moving further, we'll understand the different types of alerts with some examples. And then we'll discuss about how to handle the JavaScript alerts while testing an application. And then we'll understand how to handle the pop-up alerts during the execution. And finally, we'll wrap up this session by taking a look at the application areas where the alerts can be used. So I hope the agenda was clear to you guys. So let's start learning about what are alerts in Selenium. Alerts are basically an interface between the current web page and the user interface. It can also be defined as a small message box which displays on screen notification to give the user some information or ask his permission to perform some kind of operation. It may also be used for warning purpose. For example, while testing an application, you might get a pop up or a notification, but you may not know how to handle it when you're testing the web page. So this video is everything you need to know about handling alerts in Selenium. So let's move on and understand what are the different types of alerts. There are a few common types of alerts that you might get while testing an application. They are basically a simple alert, a prompt alert and a confirmation alert. Let's understand them in detail. First, we'll see what is a simple alert. This simple alert displays some information or a warning on the screen. For example, you get an alert while testing, warning you to fill the particular section and the button which helps in closing the alert message. Okay, so this is how a simple alert looks like. Now let's see what is a prompt alert. A prompt alert asks for some input from the user and you can enter the text using the function called send keys. So this is how a prompt alert looks like. It asks for your input and it provides two options saying accept that is OK or cancel. So this is about the prompt alert. Now let's move ahead and understand what is a confirmation alert. This confirmation alert asks for your permission to perform some kind of operation. That is, for example, like I mentioned in the prompt alert that provides with two options or buttons, namely OK and cancel. After you enter the message in the text box provided, you can either click on the OK button or the cancel button. So this alert basically gets you confirmation about the action to be performed. This is everything you need to know about the different types of alerts guys. Moving ahead with this module, we'll understand how to handle window pop ups and the alerts by taking a look at a real time example. Alerts are basically the pop up boxes that take your focus away from the current browser and it forces you to read the alert message. So you need to perform some actions like accepting the alert or dismissing the alert box to resume back to the browser. So to handle these alerts in Selenium, we have a few methods. So we'll discuss them one by one. While running the web driver script, the driver control will be on the browser even after the alert is generated, which means that the driver control will be behind the alert pop up. In order to switch to the alert pop up, we use the command driver dot switch to alert. So once we switch the control from the browser to the alert window, we can use the alert interface methods. So we'll discuss these alert interface methods now. First, we have the dismiss method, which helps in clicking the cancel button of the alert. So you can do that using this command driver dot switch to alert, which helps in switching to the alert box and dismisses the alert function. Next, we have the accept method, which helps in clicking the OK button of the alert. So this can be done adding the accept at the end of the command. And then we have the get text method, which helps in capturing the alert message. So this can be done using this command driver dot switch to alert dot get text. The last method is the send keys. This is used to send some data to the alert box. That is, you can manually enter the text to the alert box. So this can be done using driver dot switch to alert dot send keys and specify the text that you want to add. So now let's understand the working of alerts in Selenium. For that we require certain prerequisites like the latest version of Java installed in our system, the IDE on which we can perform some actions. 
So in this case, I'm going to be considering working on the Eclipse IDE because it is user friendly and it is easy to implement the Java projects. So first I'll check if the Java libraries are present. So I'm going to click on the command prompt and type Java hyphen version. Okay, so this is the version of Java installed in my system and now let's take a look at the Eclipse IDE. I have the latest Eclipse IDE guys. So just going to click on it. Launch the workspace. Okay, so this is the Eclipse workspace guys. So first we need to create a new Java project. So for that I'm going to click on file. Click on new and Java project. I'm going to name this as selenium alerts. Click on finish. So you can see that the folder is being created by the name selenium alerts. I'm just going to click on the drop down. You can find the Java libraries present and a source field. So now we need to add the selenium jar files to this project. So for that I'm going to right click on my project. And go to build path and configure build path. Selenium jar files can be easily downloaded online. So I already have the jar files. So I'm just going to add it. Okay, apply and close. You can see that another folder by the name reference libraries is created, which holds all the Selenium jar files. In this project, I'm going to be testing a web page that is designed by Edureka. Okay, so it's an HTML page. So I'm just going to click on this. So this is the web page that we're going to test. So you can see that it is a customized web page where you can find Edureka courses, YouTube channel, Edureka blog, community, display alert function, pop up. So we'll be discussing how to handle alert or a pop up while testing any application. So first let's go back to our project. I'm going to create a new class and call it alerts. And click on finish. The first thing you need to do when you're working on Selenium is to set the browser driver. In this case, I'm going to be considering working on the Chrome driver. So I'm going to set the system property to the Chrome driver. That is web driver dot Chrome dot driver. And the second argument holds the path in which it is located. Let's see where it is located. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this path. Go back to my project. And do note that you need to add the extension Chrome driver dot exe to specify that it's an executable file. Now we need to instantiate the browser driver with the new Chrome driver. So for that I'm going to create an object of the web driver and call it a driver and instantiate it with the new Chrome driver. As you can see it throws an error here. So just mouse over it. And import the web driver instances. The same goes with the Chrome driver as well. And once we are done with this, we need to get the URL of the web page that we want to search for. So I'm going to try driver.get. In our case, the URL is this. So I'm just going to copy this URL and go back to my project and paste it. So once we get the URL of the web page, we need to find the boxes that is the display alert box and the pop up box. So let's go to our web page. We need to click this alert box in order to get this alert. So it says this is a selenium alert box. So this is the text message that we want to print and also accept the alert. Okay, and the pop up which says this is a selenium pop up and close it. How to perform these actions using selenium? So first we need to inspect this display alert box to inspect. Okay, you can see that the ID is present, which is one of the element locators in Selenium. So I'm just going to copy this ID and go back to my project and write the corresponding code. Just driver dot. Find element by. I'm going to find it by the ID. 
and specify the ID over here. As it is a button, we need to click the button. So once I click the alert box, I'm going to pause the execution for a few seconds so that you can see that the alert was clicked. Sleep. As it is in milliseconds, I'm going to consider it as 3000. And you can see that it throws an error. So add throws declaration. Okay. And now we need to give the control to the alert window. Let me show you how. So once you click on this button, this particular web page becomes inactive. As you can see, it can't click any of the links here until and unless this alert box is clear. See, this is clickable now. In order to switch the control to this alert box, I'm going to create an object of this alert and link it to the driver to switch to the alert window. So you can see that it throws an error here. So just import the alert packages. So once you're done with this, now say if you want to get the text that is there in the alert window. So to do that, I'm going to consider the string function here and call it alert message and driver dot switch to the alert and get the text. So this command helps in getting the text that is present in the alert window. Now say you want to print this text message. So to do that, I'm going to print this system dot out dot print ln. I'm going to print this and pause the execution for a few seconds. So first let's run this program. Okay, you can see that this was quick and I'm going to close this. This is going to print. This is a selenium alert box. So this was quick, right guys? So in order to pause the execution for a few seconds, I'm going to add the thread command after the page is loaded. Sleep. For three seconds. Now say you want to maximize the screen. So first I'm going to type the object of the web driver manage the window and maximize so this command helps in maximizing the window so let's execute this program maximizes it after three seconds it is going to click now let's take a look at the output it says this is a selenium alert box now say you want to click on the OK button that is present. How do you do that using Selenium? So I'm going to consider the object of the alert that is alert dot accept. So this method is helping us to click the OK button on the alert window. Now I'm going to save this program and run it. Maximizes it after three seconds clicks on the display alert. And after three seconds, it clicks on the accept button. Hope this was clear to you guys. Now, how do you handle the pop up button? Let's take a look at our web page. Now, let's see how you can handle a pop up while testing an application. So, I'm just going to click on this. So, you can see another window is being embedded within the current window. So, how to handle this while testing an application? So, let's inspect this pop up button first. Okay, you can see that the ID is present, which is one of the element locators in Selenium. So I'm just going to copy this ID and go back to my project and write the corresponding code. So first I'm going to add the thread command so that it pauses the execution for a few seconds before the other function starts. And next I'm going to find the element by its ID and specify the ID over here and it is a button. So I'm going to click the button. Okay, so let's go back to our web page. So once you click this button, the window pops up to handle this window. I'm going to use the mouse hover function so that you can cancel this. I'm going to create the object of the robot class. I think most of you are familiar with the robot class. 
a robot class mainly helps in handling the mouse and the keyboard functions. So in this case, I'm going to be considering the mouse functions like the mouse press mouse move and mouse release functions. So first I'm going to create a robot class and then instantiate it with the new robot. So we need to import the robot packages and it throws declaration. Okay, the AWT exceptions. Now we need to move to the particular location on the web page. When you click this, you need to move the mouse button here. Mouse move function works with the axis that is X and Y axis. So I'm going to specify the Y axis as 5 or 10 and the X axis as 500 or a 400. So let's see how this can be done. Robot dot mouse move. So I'm going to be considering the X axis as a 400 and Y axis as a 5. Let's see where this comes up. Run this program. Maximizes it. Clicks on the alert. Clicks on accept and clicks on the pop up button. The axis is correct. So I'm going to just perform the mouse press and mouse release functions now. Considering the object of the robot, that is robot dot mouse press. Okay. It's input event dot button one down mask. After this, I'm going to pause the execution for two seconds and I'm going to release the mouse that is mouse release input event dot button dot mask and after this I'm going to pause the execution for the same two seconds and I'm going to quit the driver execution. So let's see how this is going to work. Maximizes the page clicks on the display alert handle goes to the display alert function and clicks on OK and then pauses for a few seconds and then clicks on the pop up. I hope this was clear to you guys. So this is how you handle an alert or a pop up in Selenium. So let's move ahead and understand the final topic the application areas where the alerts can be used. Like I mentioned earlier, alerts are the commands that display certain warning messages. These alerts do not pop up in all the web applications. To be precise, the alert functions are used mainly in the field of banking and the e-commerce websites like Amazon, Flipkart, Snapdeal and so on. So this is everything you need to know about alerts in Selenium guys. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.